Let's talk about the northeast section of uh, the city of Brainerd and the current map. Uh, the current map, uh, as you can see up here, we have uh, Gilbert Lake and Riverside Drive comes out from the north all the way up towards Wise Road. And as you can see in the yellow area, that's the new Stone Bridge uh, development on the north side of Riverside Drive. Coming down, uh, we have County Road 3. And as you can see, this big gray area is the uh, Wausau Paper Mill. And that's zoned uh, general industry. Coming along, coming south along uh, Mill Avenue, we pass the pink and the red area, which is the Holiday Gas Station and some general business. All the way down on Mill Avenue, uh, where it intersects Highway 210, you'll see the Brainerd Mall is in uh, red, which means that it is general business. Across from the Brainerd Mall is uh, Bethlehem Lutheran Church, which is a uh, zoned. Uh, pink, which is a neighborhood. And then following Highway uh, 210 east towards Crosby, uh, we uh, come across on the red on the south side of the highway is a zoned business. All of this area in the yellow is zoned uh, suburban residential on the current map. As we come past uh, the, the gray area, you'll see Anderson Construction. And uh, following uh, just past Anderson Construction, you'll see a big red area that is zoned uh, for business and a yellow area of uh, suburban residential. The airport goes, extends way out here. All right, we're here to talk about the changes in the northeast corridor of Brainerd and our proposed zoning map changes. Um, we'll start up here uh, by Gilbert Lake and, and show our significant changes. Now, if you'll notice, instead of the yellow density like down in the core of the city. This is now the R1A single family residential, which allows for a little bit larger lots. And, but it also allows for different setbacks as well. So a little more stricter setbacks on these. So new, any new construction in this area will have to adhere to those. And then if we follow down the corridor, this is down along Mill Avenue and you'll see this all pretty much remains all the same. We rounded off a little bit of area, but it all relatively the same. One area of a change, the significant change, that we did go from a neighborhood business area. This was a split area, which allowed a B4 right here. And this is where we have some convenience stores and, and such right in here. Now we just made it all neighborhood business, so it's more, more or less intrusive to the to the general area of the neighborhood. And then you'll notice all this area here, this is our, our single family R1 residential area. All remains the same. We've actually taken out a few little pockets of things that were what might even be called spot zoning um, in the past. But we've also then, as you bring down, you'll notice there's some area here that has went back to a single family, which used to be a medium density um, which was in our R, our R2 area. But now we've started off, and this is down around D Street. Now D Street, all the way over, just past Gillis, all the way to Fifth Avenue, that all remains in now in a high density residential, which is an R3, all the way down to um, B Street. At B Street, then is general, um, is, is a B4 area, general business, which goes all the way along the corridor of Washington Street, all the way out to the, to the mall. And as you'll notice, that goes all the way around here. And it follows all the way out 13th Avenue and clear out by Lum Park. This is all now general business. Most of that was in the past. But what we did do is remove along here is high density areas. Now we did switch to a general business, a neighborhood business up along the neighborhoods to make it a little softer and a little more gentle for a buffer against the neighborhoods. And as you go along Lum Park, there used to be a mobile home park up in here. This has all been changed now to general business and it buffers right against Lum Park, which is all a single family on both sides of it and on to the north of it. So those are fairly significant changes. And then above here, you'll notice 
we went to a, the R1A up against Rice Lake, which is gives us some larger family lots that they're going to have to hear for development. And, and then again, we have some medium density at the top, which is already some of that there, and we just made it so it's all more of a cohesive flow along our, our areas. So then we're going we're gonna to go straight on up here, and you'll notice in these two areas where rural, both were rural agriculture, and on the top side now is a rural residential to allow for some lot sizes up there. These are very large lots for development. We're going to follow back along Easy Street, and there is same the, the R1A, which is the single family residential with the larger lots up against Gilbert or Rice Lake for development in the future. Now we're going to go on out here. This is out um, on 210, and you'll notice most of this stayed the same with exception. Instead of being a yellow, a bright yellow now, it's this light yellow. And the light yellow is the single, fa single family residential again with the larger lot sizes, which is more cohesive for the rural development in the area out there. And this, this area, though, is all along 210 corridor. If, to reference this, Anderson Brothers is right in here. So this can allow for some general business and it, it's also in the behind it is high density development can go on back in here. So those were some significant changes along there. And then we come back along um, Lum Park and we show our, our last change is, is just coming back and it's pretty much even to where our development was before. And what we've seen now is more uniform zoning change and once again we ask for your input. Check the website check and send us input because this is our community and we're asking for your input here.